What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are reviewing the NECA Toys Freddy Krueger from the Friday 13th remake, the Jackie Earl Haley um, portrayal of Freddy Krueger. So we have the burn of makeup of Freddy and then we have the normal makeup of Freddy. These figures are very special to me. Um, not not so much because like I'm like a diehard fan of the remake, but I definitely do not hate it like others do. I actually have some fun with the remake. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. I think Jackie or Earl Haley's performance of, of Freddy was, was, was good. And I like that he took his own take and he didn't just try to do a Robert England, um, like a Robert England impression. Like to me, that would have been, you know, kind of silly. I wouldn't have been into that. I like the fact that he just tried to do his own thing. And I think for the most part, he did a good job. Um, I think some of the script itself maybe had issues and, you know, maybe how the way the movie was had issues. But all in all, I don't hate the film. I actually, it would not be my least favorite uh, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movie. So we'll go over the figure. We'll go over uh, his unburned look. And I think, like, NECA did a good job capturing the likeness of Jack Earl Haley. Uh, one of the things I like that it comes with is like, because remember, he's a gardener of the school and that's how he got the children. Uh, so, it's, you know, to kind of have some foreshadowing of the claws, he's got his gardener tool, uh, some really nice detailing in the jacket. And this is one of the older NECA figures where it, they don't really have articulation. It's more so just, you know, the sculpt. And, I, and I'm okay with that. Like I said, that to me, like when figures don't have like the best articulation, it doesn't bother me as much. I think mainly because I come from those old NECA days, but it has some good... Um, you know, some good detail throughout with the jacket, but I think mainly the head sculpt is really, really well done. I think that looks a lot like Jackie Earl Haley. And I like the fact that it gives you an option to get a, um, a unscarred, uh, Freddy, you know, a springboard slasher, right? Um, so I do like that, just in the camera. And then the figure, and this is actually, if you guys see my top 10 favorite NECA figure, this is actually my second favorite NECA figure I own. Um, horror wise. I, I just really love this figure. It's one of the figures that my wife got for me and I, this figure just means a lot to me. And plus I actually really do like the makeup. I, I, that's one of the things I did like about the remake of Freddy. I do like Jackie or Haley's look. Uh, the, hell, the hat is removable and the detail stays throughout the entire figure. Um, you know, I like the fact that like his ears are gone. You know, and like the burn stays throughout the entire figure. And I just think it's a really, really excellent design. And again, I think it's a really nice, um, it's a nice way to give a different interpretation uh, to the character of Freddy Krueger. The sweater looks really great. I think the claws are really nice. And one of the things I like about the claws is that they're thick. They're not, you know, sometimes you can get some Freddy figures and the, the claws are very thin and they're, they're, they, they damage very easy. I think these claws really stand the test of time. And this figure has what cut <laughs> like what 10 10 years old maybe uh longer i don't know um but it's been out for a long time and uh, i've had this figure open since the day i got it so you know and i think the boots look really nice and obviously i think they just retooled the the bottom actually probably in the top they probably just added the jacket to them but you know all in all i think these figures are just really really nice i really like these uh classic not these classic but these remake figures uh, of these classic uh, horror characters. Let's get some size comparisons of some other remake characters and, and some other Freddy Krueger figures we have to see how he stacks up. For our first size comparison, we have the Freddy Krueger from the NECA Ultimate set, uh, how he would look. Uh, yeah, I want to compare the first version of Freddy to uh, the remake version so you guys can see where they differ. But all in all, you know, they look good with the Freddy collection. If anybody's seen my horror collection video, you guys know that I have um, all the Freddies together and they look really well. But let's get some more Platinum Dune um, remake characters because they went on to make the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, remake the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or actually they started the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, then Nightmare on Elm Street, then uh, Friday the 13th. So let's get those other remakes to see how that universe looked. Here we have some of the Platinum Dunes uh, horror remake figures. Leatherface and Jason. I, and I'll be honest with you. One of the things I like a lot of maybe because I grew up during this era. I think for the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, I was only in uh, elementary school, so I basically grew up with a lot of these characters. So maybe it's a nostalgia thing for me. But uh, but one of the things I really love is the design choices. Some of these designs are still my favorite. Like this is still my favorite Leatherface design, and this is probably one of my favorite all-time Jason's designs. So I do think that they look fantastic. Despite how people may feel about the movies, the characters all look really well. And I do think it's really cool to have, like I almost could have this collection on my own 
of just the Platinum Dune remake figures. And I think that's really cool. But I really do love these two Freddy figures. Obviously, because, you know, maybe I'm sappy, but it has a lot to do with, you know, my, my wife getting me these figures, uh, where I was at that time, like me and my buddies going to go see the remix when they came out. There were so many that came out by Platinum Dunes. And, um, you know, they still resonate to me to this day. I still watch these movies, um, you know, during October or sometimes even throughout the year, depending. Like, I, I know I watch this movie a ton. I love the uh, 2003 uh, remake of the Texture Stanislaw Massacre, but I, I, I think these figures are great. I really do. These these figures mean the world to me. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below. How do you feel about these figures? Uh, do you have them in your collection? And uh, as always, keep an eye out for more content on the channel. Uh, I'm going through a lot of my older Godzilla figures, a lot of my older horror figures that I never got a chance to review. Um, I'm just kind of going through a bunch of older uh, reviews. I think that sometimes that's a little bit funner, um, especially with content of uh, figures coming out a little slower. Like there's so many NECA figures I pre-ordered them just waiting to come in. Uh, so without further ado guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.